Guys, you're right now. Um, brother Olin wanted me to make a, a quick video of trying to explain what you guys see when people do this. When they're hitting the peje, they're hitting the toere. Um, so, first rule of drumming, no matter you're playing Tahiti, Rorotonga, Fiji, Samoan, Cook Island, is always respect your teachers. Uh, no matter who you learn from, no matter where you came from, or where you got your toeres from, your tariparaos, or what have you, respect your teachers, all your teachers. Um, there's never the best, but yet there's never the worst. Um, long story short for me, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mana. They call me Sunny Kikuna from the island of Maui. And I learned from a lot of different masters, um, drummers throughout the world. Um, I never really explored all the Havas or, or even went to Tahiti yet. But, you know, like a lot of us here on Maui, we, we are very short on um, knowledge. Um, there's not too much people that knew the Oro Oro. Um, pretty much the Patriots who showed us or, or, or brought it here so we can understand and see what Oro Oro was, was our cousins from Honolulu, Here Tamanui, love you guys. And um, once they came here to Maui and showed us and even performed their drumming, it was incredible. It was, it was nothing we ever seen before, nothing we ever heard, and it was so hard to understand. And that was back in the early 2000s. Um, but now a lot of us understood it, a lot of us practiced it, and, uh, and, and now we, we pretty much got it down. We never mastered it, because there's a lot of different styles. There's a lot, there's beats being created today that we never did hear about. And, um, you know, but again, first rule is to always respect your teachers and, and, and try to understand their knowledge, their teachings. Everybody teaches different, but yet the same. Um, so again, try your best. It's never wrong. It's whatever's easier for the player. There's a lot of people that hit straight. There's a lot of people that hit down. There's a lot of people that hits up. There's others that can actually pull. So master what feels comfortable to you. There's nobody in the world that can tell you, oh, you're ordering wrong, you're ordering wrong, blah, blah, blah. It's what's comfortable for you. Main thing is that you hit what you're supposed to hit. You play what you're supposed to play. Do not go overboard and, and do all these fancy stuff when you're not supposed to, especially if you're doing a competition. Play your pejes correctly as what the teacher and or what it's supposed to be. So, what I teach my students, um, no matter if they never drummed before or they they drummed with me for a long time, and I went to numerous of them. A lot of them went on and learned on their own and, and started their own pupori, wherever they may be, God bless you guys, or some of them is still here. So, Oro Oro is modernization of drumming, okay? There was no, none of this back in the days. None, period. I don't know as a fact who created this. You know, a lot of people state that they do create it, they did, blah, 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 which is cool. Right on, mahalo for creating this motion and the style of, you know, harmonies. A lot of people state tahape, you know, original, straight. Um, so learn your basics first. Do not think you can just get on Tahiti and Toere and start going your oro oro. It doesn't work out that way. Nobody. Nobody has the right to just no. Learn your basics. Learn your pehes, pahai, paea, toto, purata. Even Australia, I call it piti hey, tiara toporo, morea, huti huti. Um, Tautira and so on and so forth. There's so many beats out there 
that even I didn't master master, but I know it, I can play it, but not comfortably. There's a lot of different styles of playing. Everybody now understands mua, ropu, muri. You know, there's also aratai, there's fai, tamau, tape hape. There's so many different styles. I'm gonna teach you three that is most common nowadays. Mua, ropu, muri. Before, on, after. Everything matters on the tariparao, on the pa, on the bass drum. Okay? As you know, the bass drum keeps a tempo at all times. The haakete is a speed, the adrenaline. The tuparima, the hand drums, is the backup. It's the rhythm. The toere is the singers, the importers, the, the movement, if I make sense, the accents. So, what I tell my students is, if you guys want to learn how to scoop up, like what you see, forward to do this, yeah? Some people, they like to stick straight up and down. Some people, they do the circular motion or the oval. It's the same thing. Again, it all depends how the person reacts to the movement of the stick. Now, back in the days, everything was all fingers. Like this. There was not much of the wrist action or the elbow and or the shoulders. Oro oro consists of movement from your shoulder, your elbow, your wrist, down to your fingers. It's all a circular motion. It's like a piston. If you were to look at one piston and the rod that connects under the piston, it's going like this, right? Not like this, circular motion. Yeah, so pretend you're holding a bowl, salmon bowl, and you want to scramble your eggs. That's how I explain, scramble your eggs. You scramble your eggs sideways like this, correct? Move that way, sorry. You scramble your eggs like this, correct? On the side. Now, move the bowl forward, scramble your eggs this way. You can see the motion? Instead of like this, you're scrambling your eggs to we'll make, you know, scramble eggs, hash brown. Turn the ball in front of you with your fork. Do this. Now at least you have the motion of your wrist. See? The only thing you're missing is the reaction from your elbow and your shoulder. Once you have this motion comfortably and you can count one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, or taran, 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 taran. You're gonna eventually see your elbow rocking opposite of your wrist. So, my so you can see my elbow. This is the bowl. This is your fork. Once you're going in, your elbow pushes out. Once you're pulling out, your elbow comes into you. That's all you see is opposite. See, it's not most likely like this. It's more here. Understand this. Fehez, oro oro, is always a double hit. Todo, 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 todo. It's not todo, 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 todo. It's not three, it's not one. It's the double hit. Toma, muri, oh, toma, ropu, sorry. Ropu is double on the tariparao. Single after. Mua before. And you notice I'm hitting straight into the toere. I'm not scooping, I'm not digging. Straight. Master you guys straight first before you guys do the scoop. If you cannot master this to one pretty much tempo speed, you is not gonna get this. Due to the fact the sound is different when you do this versus this. Understand? In other words, once you get into the scoop, it's solid one, solid up. Solid one, solid up. The second hit, the stick hits by itself. 
you're controlling it, but only to a certain point. The only thing you're actually controlling is the straight. Understand? So try to master hitting straight. scooping into it. Okay? So, <clears throat> remember, it's not about speed. It's never about how fast you can go or how fast this drummer can do, how fast this drummer can do. Get your tempo down. Try to hit what is supposed to be then not supposed to be. So remember, first trick, pretend you have a bowl and you want to scramble your eggs this way first. Make sure you grip your tighty pretty good, your stick. Don't grab it like you grab it on locker, but grab it just enough so you have a free play. You see like how I get a little puka? You want a, a little play. Some guys when they get to a, a speed that hits them, like just enough, they actually lock up their thumb. If you watch some of the drummers, they lock their thumb like this versus like this. Even when I try to go to a pretty fast speed that I cannot handle, I lock my thumb as well. Like this. So that way, everything is locked up. Your knuckles is locked up. Your thumb is locked. And everything is the stick from here. Example, I'm gonna try play a play a toma, my speed, where I feel comfortable, then take it up a notch. And you're gonna see my thumb lock up. Let me turn my head. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna play halves. 16, 8, and 8. Okay, here we go. Ready, Toru. Now I'm gonna play one faster speed. My thumb to lock up. Ready, Toru. Take it one more step faster. Of course, remember to lock up your, your thumb, lock your knuckles, so everything is like this. Like you get it one crack. And all that motion is doing is this. Remember, take it slow, go slow, hit straight first. Versus hitting the scooping. Try to play toma. Every pehe has a toma, no matter if it's paella. Pretty much a toma in there. Same to me, pahai. Same thing with hit the toe. Toma. Same thing with purata. All pehes has toma. That's how I kind of explain to myself. That's how you would understand you hit before, on, or after, and even the rest of the, the styles of playing. So, step one find your scooping. Before that, hit straight first. Find the tempo that fits you. Don't go too fast, don't go too slow. Work your way. If you can go faster, keep playing and work your way up like this. point where you just making it that you know you can just stay there stay there and keep going once you mess up once you hear you miss the hit come back down a little bit work your way up come back down work your way up then eventually you're not gonna get it right there and then 
eventually you're going to feel comfortable, able and willing to hit that drum, hit the note, okay? Once you get that, hit solid first, straight, don't do this, hit straight first on all your pejes, then you're going to find yourself at one specific speed, your hand wants to move, your arm wants to move, let it go, let your arm move. You will not hear the correct yet, but eventually it will come to you. You're going to understand, okay, now it sounds a little different. It's not as clear, but yet once I master this, it's going to come out. Once you get this scoop, you got it. No matter if you're hitting downwards like this, opposite, that's okay too. No matter if you're pulling like this, that's okay. A lot of us now is hitting up and down like this, scooping which is cool. It's easy for me, feels okay, but I prefer hitting straight because the sound is very distinctive. The sound is there. But yet, to a certain extent, your hand only can keep up so fast. Nowadays, everything is all quick. So you want to find a comfortability, a comfort zone, so you can do this, okay? So, to everybody who's learning how to play toere, take it slow. Do not rush. Ask as much questions as you can from your teacher. From your teacher, it's their duty for ask for help as well. You have every right to ask, but respect your teachers, do what you gotta do, and they can take you far, okay? I'm yet so young, I'm 28, learned on my own, and look where I'm at. Go slow, learn your pejes, learn your styles, learn your harmony, Eventually, you understand and get this down. Just do not rush. It's going to take you, no matter if it takes you next month, a year, five years, 20 years. It took me easily 10 years to master this, especially if I'm playing lead. That's another step you guys should actually try. Start off by playing ropu. Ropu is double on the pop. That's the easiest as of right now that I feel. Play ropu. Hit the ropu. Next thing after that, play the Muri. Last will be the Mua. Mua is a little bit harder because you gotta hit before everybody. You gotta connect. You, you see what I'm saying? You're, you're off. First is you're on or right after. At least the after you can hit on, then hit the after. Mua, you gotta hit before. Okay? Once you guys master that, maybe I make another video of the other ones. Come on. Aratai, Fai, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of people out there, that, there's a lot of masters that even I learned from that is willing to help. Kevin Kama is one, you know, the, 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 there's a lot, you know. So this goes out to Brother Olin and his crew, everybody in California, in Tahiti, Hawaii, Japan. I hope that helps. You guys have a good one. Aloha. Ta'ara nui, everybody. Hey.